All right, let's then look at your real-time weather and traffic together right now as we are looking for some rain today, right? Yeah, we're going to see some waves of wet okay. weather, so some gray skies at times, some rain others. Uh, warm fronts moving through right now. That's what's keeping temperatures a little on the mild side right now, and we're also seeing some rain at spots. But right now in downtown Birmingham, not a whole lot of wet weather. May encounter some drizzle, maybe if you're making your way into downtown for work. Some light rain is possible. So here's a look at the temperatures in Birmingham. 53 degrees, but a range of temperatures. Notice East Alabama still in the mid to upper 40s. 43 in Ashland, 48 in Anniston, with 45 in Center. And you have those low 50s in West Alabama. We had morning clouds and morning rainfall, and that's why temperatures were a little bit more mild. Also, this rain is associated with a warm front, so kind of behind that warm front, the air is a little bit warmer. That warm front is just now beginning to move into East Alabama. Let me show you where the heaviest rainfall is right now along Highway 278, anywhere. From Hamilton through Lynn, Double Springs into Coleman. You're seeing that light rain. This is stretching down towards Carbon Hill and Winfield, and then lighter showers from Bremen down towards northern part of Jefferson County. In and around the Birmingham Metro, not a whole lot of rain. That is some good news. However, pretty much anywhere you look, if you're coming into Birmingham, there is some rain right on the outskirts of the metro area. So just keep that in mind. Not only bring the umbrella with you and the rain jacket, but you may want to tack on a couple extra minutes for that morning commute as well. The heavy Rainfall along I-65 in Chilton County is pushing east now along 231 near Weagufka and, and making its way off to Alexander City. So there's likely going to be some patches of rain even along Highway 280. Not our favorite spots to see morning rainfall, but it is what it is, folks. So here's that warm front as this warm front again continues to push off to the north and to the east. And behind it, we're going to have that warm air kind of priming the atmosphere for that rain. But then the cold front. That cold front is going to bring us round two of wet weather later on tonight. So looking through your day, those temperatures will be climbing into the mid-60s, some spotty showers this morning. think we'll see a little break in the activity by the afternoon. Okay, let me show you your future cast right now. 10 a.m. Scattered showers possible. We'll, get, we'll begin to see a little lull in the action from about 2 p.m. through around 6 p.m. And then we'll see a resurgence as that front moves through overnight tonight. That will continue through the early hours on your Tuesday, clearing tomorrow, and then temperatures will be cooling for your Wednesday and Thursday. And don't forget, even though we're seeing some rain this weekend, don't forget, set those clocks forward. We spring forward an hour Saturday night into Sunday morning.